if you are a coach or if you're thinking about a coach, I want to help you out here. There are five steps to help your client get a breakthrough. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher turned coach. I've coached students, I've coached athletes, I've coached business people, and we all concentrate on a transformation, getting them a result that they want to get. So here are the five steps. Now, they don't have to go in order, but let me go through the ones that I usually do in order. The first one is I work on clarifying a vision or their goals. You know, what do they want to achieve? And it's very important that they have one. And I ha when I'm working with clients, I talk to them about, let's have big goals. You know, I want you to achieve big things. So the first thing we work on is a vision, their goals, clarifying what they want to achieve, whether it's in their life or in their business. Now, once they have their goals or their vision down, and guess what, they change. <laughs> then what we do is we start talking about what action steps are they going to take? Where do they go from here? How do they set up the next thing? So the first thing is, what do you want to achieve? What is the first step you're going to take to achieve that? Now, as a coach, I don't do this for them. I want them to come up with their own game plan. I'll help, but they're trying to do their own game plan. So the first one is clarify a vision. Second one is strategize their action step. The third one is upgrade their skills. And in coaching, you're gonna find out what skills they need, but at the same time, you can ask, what do you want me to help you with? What skills do you wanna improve in? And you can help them upgrade their skills. The fourth one is their environment. And there's three different kinds of environment, but you wanna optimize that for the best way for them. One is mental. Ask them what books are they reading, or you can suggest books. Or maybe if they start out in a coaching program, you can send them a book, or you can send them articles, or you can send them audio trainings. But you wanna optimize their mental environment. Next one is physical, right? Get away from the distractions in their home, in their office, where they're working. You know, what is distracting them? How can you improve their physical environment? The third environment is people. And this is a big one. Right now, I'm not telling my clients that they have to get rid of friends. What I do is try to get them around people that are going to help them. Whether it's in social media groups, whether it's working with different people in an environment. But what I'm trying to do is get them in around people to help them get around people are going to enhance them they're going to improve their attitude and keep in being positive and helping them out so optimize the environment mental physical and people and the fifth stone is master their mind and emotions now when you hear that you think about limiting beliefs at least that's what i had to work on with the most was my limiting beliefs and a limiting belief that usually comes from when we're younger, whether it was from family or growing up in school and maybe it's even in middle school where people start telling you you aren't good enough, you aren't tech enough. And they really hold you back. Now, I have some NLP anchor steps, but I also do some other things that can help people with that. But beyond limiting beliefs, there's empowering beliefs. Right, when people tell you, well, you are really smart, you can handle this. Or you are really good at being techie. See, what happens sometimes when people hear that, when they say you are really smart, what it means is they don't have to go and learn more. Does that make sense? So there's limiting beliefs and empowering beliefs. So here are the five again. Clarify vision or goals strategize their actions. What are their steps they're gonna to take to hit that goal or their vision? The third is help them upgrade their skills. The fourth is work on their environment. Make their environment better in mental, physical, and with people. The fifth is master their mind and emotions. Work on their beliefs. Now, it's essential for all 
coaches, all coaches, to create rapport with people, to build up that know, like, and trust. A lot of it is with video or face-to-face. -face. A lot of us do Zoom calls right now, but you need to learn how to build up rapport. And one of the best ways to do that is be an active listener. Look in their eyes. Watch their lips. Listen to what they're saying. Now, a lot of times what I do, especially if somebody is, when we're first starting out and I talk about, well, what are you trying to achieve? And they say, well, I want to create a business that does $10,000 a month. And I'll listen to that. And I usually repeat it. But what I'm hearing you say is that you want to create a business for you and your family to create $10,000 a month. I want to listen to them and I want to repeat what they're saying so they hear me but they also know that I'm paying attention to what they are so there you have it if you are a coach or you're thinking of becoming a coach those are the five steps that I follow to help my clients get a breakthrough you all take care